Okay, the last part of the lecture, I will show you how to generate the drawing and scheduling. We have base P1 roof. Just now we have done all the analysis. So I want to close this. Okay, one thing I want to highlight you, if you suddenly close your 3D view, how to find out? You just click double click, stretcher. It will come back 3D view. Okay, let's stick in 3D view. Then I will generate a drawing. Go to draw, drawing management. First, we start with general arrangement. Just add content. We can put it. Okay. Layout, you can just go to view drawing, view drawing, you will generate. Why is 25, 3 millimeter, up to you. Okay. Okay, this is our base level, foundation level, but you will not see the pie cap part. You can see the matte uh, mat foundation in general arrangement. Ground floor, first story, second story, third story. There is no reinforcement detail in the drawing, but you can see the beam group name, 300 and 500. Column, group name, and so on. After that, you save. Okay, let me save it. Anywhere you can save it. General arrangement drawing. Save. Go there. This one remove. Now I want to generate a loading plan. Click it content all the levels loading frame we no need you can put it also then okay loading what type okay all loading okay view drawing one is 25 three millimeter okay This is the loading plan. How to see it? Okay, this is ground floor. Subway excluding slabs. So you will not see any loading value because it's subway. Okay, let me go to roof level. This is roof level. Loading plan, roof, service load. Then you go to this corner. All slab and decking panels, one kilo newton per meter square service load. Okay. After that, roof level, soft weight. Roof level, slab soft weight. Okay. Now we see here, roof level, dead load. Dead load how much? We have put. 2 kN bar meter square. This is dead load. There is another dead load, 3 kN per meter on the roof level. We have put parameter load. Then we put impose load. The value is 1.5 kN. Whatever you have applied the load, all can see here. Loading plan. Just see. You come to draw, 
employee management show you, you all the elements and all the details. In earlier video, I have shown you to generate element by element. Okay, now we continue concrete beam detail. Add, okay, remove that. Concrete beam detail. Content. Original is this way. Come here. Drag it. Okay. View drawing. Beam detail. Y2.5. Okay. Up to you. Then beam drawing. Come up. Here. 300, 500. Then the beam name is this is the whole beam name you can see it here. CRP ten D seven is a group name. Interclass structure designer group mean all the same reinforcement and same nature were assigned as one group. Okay. Here reinforcement detail quantity takeoff for the whole building reinforcement total weight you can go and read it session drawing save concrete beam detail save go back remove column detail add content we drag here ok View drawing, okay. Column drawing here. How many column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are a group CRC one, D two. So under CRC one, how many column? You go and see your general arrangement drawing. In the floor plan, we are matching which column is CRC1. Save it. Save. Okay, now in setting also, you can and the draw setting also, you can adjust member details. Let's see column drawing. Cross section, path, everything you can lay out. Style. You can adjust it. Okay. Go back to draw. Drawing management. Wall detail. Add content. Wall three wall. We have. Okay. View drawing. from base level to rooftop session reinforcement table session you can read it save save check we have we got saved Beam delay column wall general arrangement loading. Slab mat layout at content all the slab. Okay. View drawing. One is twenty five. Three millimeter. Okay. And you can Slap and mat. So the layout name is slap and mat. So for mat foundation, 
is a consider under slab and mat. So for mat foundation reinforcement work show. You will not see foundation by cap isolated footing. Draw reinforcement you will not see. This is only slab and mat. This is the slab reinforcement B1 E11 mesh. Okay. In earlier uh, lecture, I have made reinforcement according to my favor. But when you click analyze again or design again, then it will generate according to software what they want to give. So I will not go back to that such. You can review it. Roof level at the patching area reinforcement overall slab T2 beam patch area reinforcement you can read it ok safe slab mat layer Close it. Remove. Go to non concrete with no need. Beam M forces you can generate the isolated foundation. Content. Original is this way. Drag here. Okay. View drawing. All the pad foundation, isolated footing, PB1, PB4, PB22 will show. Which one is PB1, which one is PB4? You can go and see the layout plan drawing. Only need bottom layer river, D13 mesh. Okay, this is pie cap. All, all pie cap and the same reinforcement will show together. Pie cap. Here pi cap, this is pi cap, pad foundation, reinforcement schedule, K, okay. file, save, isolated footing, save. What else we can take out? Foundation layout, benching check, base plate detail, base plate detail, if you have column, Steel column with base plate, you can generate up. Later, we will go to steel structure in the second lecture. Okay, foundation layer. Add, remove, content. Okay, view drawing. This is foundation layout. Your foundation layout you can see see it. This is ground floor. Ground floor actually don't need. We don't need ground floor, no foundation. Just forget all these floor plan. This is what system gives you. Safe. 